My name is Randy Hales and I'm the former CEO of Mighty Light. Mighty Light is a manufacturer of institutional furniture. So uh, think of tables and chairs when you go to a hotel or a hospitality venue. Chances are those are Mighty Light products. Mighty Light was a, uh, a company that had grown very quickly. Um, but before the Sorensen investment, uh, the company had really plateaued. Uh, sales weren't uh, growing very much. Uh, we had a nice customer base and, and a fairly uh, consistent business, but not a growth business. So as Sorensen came in and looked at the opportunity, you know, what uh, products could be sold through the same channel of distribution that the company was already accessing, uh, where were those opportunities uh, from a market and sales perspective? They had the vision and, and the belief that it could become a growth business, and that all proved to be true. Led by the uh, Sorensen Performance Team, orders over 25,000 started to grow significantly and drove an extra $4 million of revenue in one year. Lead times were running 10 weeks. That was lower to uh, less than a week. So our on-time accurate and uh, complete shipment was averaging in the low 60s. Uh, after that first year performing that 99% plus range. So a very significant change. The Sorensen team worked alongside uh, some of our shop floor and production leaders and helped them understand new ways and different ways of performing in their roles. So our employee turnover on the production floor was very high. It was in that 100% uh, range. That uh, turnover rate dropped to less than 10%. Several items that the company manufactured had been moved offshore. And uh, after we streamlined uh, the operating efficiencies in the production floor and, and made the improvements that were made, we were able to actually reshore some of those products that had gone offshore. We became that much more efficient that we could bring them back to the States for production. There was a, a real sense of pride in that, to be able to hire and, and be a good employer in the community and uh, be able to tell our customers these products were made in the United States. There were three different manufacturing awards that were presented to the company over a three or four year period. And I really attribute a lot of that recognition, again, being due to the Sorensen performance team that helped us get to that point. And the thing that we loved about having the Sorensen team in was that they came in as partners. They didn't come in to tell us what to do, but they helped coach, train, and mentor us through the process. The uh, Sorensen performance team was right there with us, shoulder to shoulder. They're very good finance guys, uh, but they're operators first and foremost. So uh, they've had hands-on experience and uh, they've walked the path that we were walking. So it was very easy for them, I think, to come in and see where they could add value and help us. Uh, they're not there to get in the way and interfere with the business. They're there to truly help and support. A lot of private equity companies tell you that's the case, but very few execute to that. I think what I could say about Sorensen is probably the most meaningful is the fact that I would love to work with them again. I've worked with uh, quite a number of uh, private equity groups in the past and uh, I can tell you that I've never enjoyed the uh, type of relationship uh, with any of the rest that I've had with Sorensen. Not that the others were bad, but the Sorensen one was so much better, so much more of a partnership that it really set them apart. So I would look forward to and welcome the opportunity to uh, work with the Sorensen Capital.